You know, we've spoken about it before, and that is wearing the full armor of God. But there's one particular piece of armor that I want to talk to you about today on your morning cup of inspiration. You know, when it talks about the full armor of God, one thing it says in Ephesians 6.16, it says, In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. The shield of faith. When you're holding up a shield, when these arrows are coming at you, this is a little shield here, they're just going to deflect. They're just going to go off. They're not going to touch you because you're holding up that shield of faith. But with that shield of faith, you have to not have doubt in your mind, doubt in your heart. You have to know that you know that you know that God is taking care of, that Christ is in you. You know, over in James uh, 1, um, 1 through 8, actually, it talks about trials and temptations. But the verse 6 is what I want to talk about. It says, but when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind, that a person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all that they do. Hmm. Such a person is double-minded. That's riding the fence, which he always tells us there's no gray area. It's black or white. And they're double-minded and unstable in all that they do, but if they have doubt. So we can't be like this wave blowing around in that we have to be steadfast going for it, knowing where we're supposed to be and that we're supposed to have our trust in God. It's kind of tough in these times, isn't it? Because Satan's going to try to put doubt in our minds in everything we do. I said it before, and I'll say it again for those who may not have heard it. When my father was dying, when he was on his dying bed in the hospital, he was my mom's, men uh, my mom was his mentor. She led him to the Lord. And when she went into the room, the first thing he said to her was, do you think God will not forgive me for the things I couldn't do? And she said, what do you mean? God forgives all of us. He knows our limitations. He's one provided. He knows what we can do. But my dad had this doubt that Satan's putting in there. Where's your God now? You know, my dad always felt unworthy to take a group of people before the Lord because he, he just knew the creator of the universe was so great. And he was so humble going before him. But see, he had doubt. Satan put that doubt in his mind. And he does that to us. And he's going to do that to us until our dying day. That's why we have to hold the shield of faith and trust and believe in what the Word says and what Jesus told us. When we accept him into our life, he, he lives in us. The Holy Spirit is in us. And we have that ability to hold that shield of faith up and not have any doubt. And we have to keep that consistent. Keep that so that these, these arrows will just bounce off. Because Satan's going to come at us until our last breath. But when we say, no, no, no. You can, no matter what you say, where's your God now? He's right here with me. And I'm going to be with him soon too. So we just let Satan know that we have no doubt, no matter what, no doubt. Bible tells us not to have doubt. Don't ride that wave, but hold up that shield of faith with strength and with honor. God bless you, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.